Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog Boone.com, and today I want to show you guys how to make sourdough tortillas. So if you've been hanging around uh, my channel for a while, you know that I'm really into sourdough starter. I shared how to make a sourdough starter from scratch, all the benefits for your gut, uh, how to make English muffins and pizza crust and pancakes all with a starter. So today I have another bread product for you and that is tortillas. So these are great to have on hand for easy lunches. You're gonna be making a lot of bread products like homemade sourdough bread or tortillas. It might be wise eventually to invest in a mixer that has a dough hook. I have the Bosch mixer. I bought it probably six or seven years ago now and it does all the kneading for you so you can just turn it on, walk away, and it'll knead the bread. Again, don't have to have it. Just if you're gonna be making high volumes of these things, it obviously makes the job a lot easier. To my mixer, I'm going to add one cup of sourdough starter, three quarter cups of water, a quarter cup of coconut oil. You could also use olive oil. I actually prefer the taste of the olive oil um, for tortillas just at the moment. That's just not what I had on hand, but a quarter cup of melted oil. And then I'm going to use my Nutramil, another thing I have in this house that I bought years ago. I realize I haven't told you guys about all this stuff, um, to grind wheat. If you have a co-op in your area where you can get wheat berries in like 25 or 50 pound bags, it's a very inexpensive and healthy thing to do to grind your own grains fresh. And then add three cups of flour to my mixer. You can also use already ground wheat as well. A teaspoon and a half of salt. And then just let the mixer knead for about two to three minutes. It doesn't have to be full on stretchy like a bread dough, but you do want everything to be incorporated and to start developing some of that elasticity in the gluten. Put a tea towel over that and let it sit for 12 to 24 hours to let the sourdough starter work all the way through, kind of allow the dough to rise, and then do that really healthy action of pre-digesting the food. That's kind of what the good bacteria and the sourdough starter does to the grain to make it more digestible, which is why so many people can't tolerate grains because um, it's so hard to digest. This takes care of that for you. I've had people that tell me that they can now tolerate gluten as long as they prepare it this way. All right, so after 12 to 24 hours has passed, I have a ball of dough here. I am going to divide it into 12 equal parts. I'm gonna make sure that my cast iron skillets are preheating on medium to low heat while I roll these out on a lightly floured work surface. Nice and thin is what you're going for. I'm just gonna toast these up on a lightly greased cast iron skillet. about a minute on each side is good enough to get them nice and cooked. Now I am ready to make some lunch wraps with our tortillas. What I love about these is obviously the gut benefits. Also just so few ingredients, so there's nothing added, no hydrogenated oils. Um, the flour is you know, whole grain and fresh. And so this is a wonderful thing to wrap up a healthy meal. I'm going to make a chicken wrap with some homemade honey mustard and lettuce, and that will be great for our lunch today. And I know my kids will definitely appreciate it. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Also, if you aren't yet a member of my subscriber library, I have a library on my blog. It is password protected. It's for email subscribers only. I will leave a link below where you can get on that. There are several eBooks in there that are all free. So there's an eBook on how to make your own homemade natural body products. There is an ebook on some sourdough recipes that are a super simple dinner idea, as well as a few kefir recipes and some printable labels. So it's full of all of my freebies in one place. You can have access to that if you are a member of the Farmhouse on Boone email list. So I will leave a link below where you can get on that and get the password so that you can grab all of those great freebies as they are now and as I update them um, along the way, I'll be adding more stuff to it. So if you want access to that, make sure to check it out. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.